my dear friends as we are beginning 2021 for all those who belong to the society of the holy spirit and a beautiful channel sangam on plus tv i greet all of you happy new year and god's mighty blessing for you as we begin this year we begin with god's blessing any work god asked aaron to bless in this way which we hear in the book of numbers chapter 6 verse 22 onwards may god bless you may his light shine upon you may he be gracious to you and give you peace this is the way god loves to bless and greet his people and i feel so happy to greet you may god's light shine upon you you know in which areas of your life you need the light of christ look unto him he is the only one life has many possibilities many struggles it's what okay. world is world god is god when god's light is upon you no force on this darkness or any thing to that matter can stop you see to it your face is towards the lord and see to it that the light of christ is shine upon you second when his light shines upon you he will dispel the darkness from you and then he will give you something of his own his peace as i greet in general as god asked moses to greet the people to add particularly for this year as i was praying the message that the lord has shared with me i love to share with you in psalm 26 towards the end of verse 11 onwards it's written like this i am not like that i live with integrity so redeem me and show me your mercy blessed are those who are going to proclaim this year lord let anything happen i live in integrity if you could be able to say that god will definitely will protect you and going to save you now i stand on solid ground and i will publicly praise the lord those who learn to stand on the solid ground god is calling us this year is a unique year god is calling if you come and stand with him your life is going to be on a solid ground the lord is my light and my salvation so why should i be afraid the lord is my fortress protecting me from danger so why should i tremble when evil people come to devour me when my enemies and foes attack me it is they who will stumble and fall though the mighty army surround me my heart will not be afraid even if i am attacked i will remain confident because this year god is going to keep people on solid ground who are going to live in integrity that's why in verse 19 is verse 13 he says i am confident that i will see the lord's goodness while i am here in the land of the living now we hear so many type of sickness but the lord says i will remain in god's goodness and in the land of living death will come never never near me if i learn to stand on the solid ground what is this solid ground when i was reflecting for this year lord you are going to keep your people on a solid ground some those who live according to your integrity what is that the lord was sharing with me in the beginning of the world what happened in the beginning of the world there was full of darkness there was so much of disorder and 
that's what is happening in the world. Everywhere people are frightened. So many nations, European nations have closed their doors. They can't celebrate the New Year celebration. Even in India, so much of fear, worries, is all that is happening. But when God's Spirit came, and when the Word of God came, these two persons of God, as we know, the Lord is a triune God, Father, Son, and the Spirit. Now the Spirit of God came, and the Word, Jesus, came. And when the Word was proclaimed, the Holy Spirit brought new life, new light, and the darkness disappeared, disorder disappeared. My dear, this year is meant for you. Don't run after the world. Don't run after what people think of you. If you commit your life to the word of God, if you become a companion of the Holy Spirit, you will become a new creation. God will bring life out of you. Through you, God will bring mighty things. We read in the book of Luke's Gospel, chapter 18, verse 42 onwards. A blind man. He's a blind man. He's a beggar. But he knew to stand on the solid ground. When he was healed, he praised to God. And the Bible says, he went to behind the Jesus. He did not go home. He went to behind and told everybody what the Lord has done. And he brought many souls to Christ. This year, you may be a blind man, but commit to live for God and commit to live according to the word and with the companion of the Holy Spirit. If you make this, your life is going to be a great life. No evil can come near you. No disaster will come near your house. You will see God's miracle in your life. Same thing we find in the life of Daniel. So many forces were trying to Defile Daniel. He was living in a very, very pathetic condition than you and me. You know how they were brought from Babylon? Daniel's eyes were tied up, blindfolded, and they were brought like dogs. But they never lost the, their faith in the Lord. They never lost their integrity. As Daniel 1.18 says, when they were asked, to eat and drink like the people of the world. They said, no. The Bible says, they determined to live a clean, integrity life. Integrate a life. And God kept them on solid ground. This is the secret God is revealing to you. Don't compromise with the world. Hello, my dear. The world is not going to save you. The rulers of the world is not going to save you. Only if you learn to live in integrity with the word and in the companion of the Holy Spirit, God will keep you in solid ground. Nothing is going to shake you. Daniel determined to live in integrity. He said, I don't want this drink and food which pains my heart, pains the heart of my God. I don't God kept him on solid ground. The enemies want to throw him into the lion's pit, but they remained in the solid ground on trial. He went and prayed for three hours. He kept up his integrity. He kept up his integrity. And God kept him on the solid ground. Same thing happened in the life of Mother Bean. So many things confused her troubled her, disturbed her. But she stood on the word of God. Word of God was given to her. You will become the mother. There is nothing impossible for you. Holy Spirit will come upon you. These are the two things. The word and the Holy Spirit. Mother Mary said yes. She committed and God kept her on solid ground and she is the mother of us all. So as we begin this new year, God is calling each one of you, greeting you, peace, joy, 
prosperity. At the same time, this prosperity, joy of the Lord to be your own for this particular year, God wants us to take care of your integrity. Parents, take care of your children. Don't say, my daughter, my son is earning 40,000 rupees. How can I correct them? If you don't correct them and lead them to light and Lord, they will be lost. What is the use of their income? Don't bother about money. Don't bother about the standard of the world. You know what is God's standard. Parents, lead your children in the, God, in the standard of God. Youngsters, this is an year of testing for you. If you stand like Daniel, the young man, Joseph, the young man, Mother Mary, the young lady, your life is going to be a mighty life, life of blessing for many. I wish all of you stand on the solid ground by the life of integrity, by the Word and the Holy Spirit. Enjoy 2021. It is your year. Your year to discipline yourself. Your year to move into from glory to glory. People of this world, they will die on this earth, but you will be led by heaven, the power of glory, and life is yours. I wish you all the best. God bless you, my dear. Happy New Year for all of you. Praise the Lord.